All right, what's up YouTube? We're back with another video on NCAA 25 today. You can see in the title, you can see in the thumbnail, we're talking about trips tight in. Um, so many different playbooks have this trips tight end. I'll have them on the screen, but right now I'm in the Alabama playbook. Um, they have some pretty creative different plays here that you don't find in a lot of these other formations. Uh, pretty much everything, the orbits, the RPO motions, all that stuff, really cool, really creative. So that's what we're gonna be talking about here, but don't forget to go down below hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications on, shout me on TikTok for more helpful video tip clips, and do not get mad at me in the comments if the sound quality isn't very good. I have to use my backup mic for this video for some reason, cause the main one's not working, but that's pretty much all I got, and let's jump right into it. All right, so whenever we're talking about our offense to be book, the first thing that we need to reference is the audibles. For me, in this Alabama offense, I like Orbit, PA, Halfback, Wheel, RPO alert motion screen, verticals, and PA slot corner. And then every play we're gonna be looking to come out in this play, Z cross. So as always with this, you wanna have your trips. I almost always just run my trips on the left side. It doesn't really matter if we to the short side or the wide side. I'm just comfortable with it on this left side, um, just like this. So the first play we're gonna talk about here is this one that we're coming out in. I think it's called Z cross. So it's kind of similar to curl flat. This playbook doesn't have curl flat, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna put our tight end on a shriek and player's not gonna show up. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna put our tight end on a shriek actually and block the running back. And so when we go to snap the ball against a cover two defense, we're going to have that crosser open over the top of that cloud flat. And then we're gonna have an opportunity to pick up some more yards after the catch. So it's going to be very difficult, almost impossible for them to guard this little crosser here because it's gonna get over the top of their zone drops every single time, whether it be a 25 or a 30, you know, it doesn't really matter. Eventually, he's gonna run over the top of a zone drop and be able to run underneath of a deep path, just like that. And then, you know, we're gonna go ahead and put them in a cover three here because I wanna show that the backside of this play is also going to be open. So we go to take the snap here, we're looking, we're reading it, and now we have that window open backside to Isaiah Bond. Um, nice and easy, you know, those zone they're drifting out towards the sideline our flat zone right here excuse me our flat route he's going to push not only this curl flat but also this hook zone towards the sideline it's going to open up a window right behind this guy's head for us to throw our little in route and then also you're able to see i mean if i waited a little bit longer i think we would have had that crosser open um so that's also something that you can do so again going through this pretty quickly here um we're gonna have cover one hole we're just gonna put them in a cover one so um with this you could actually call this play stock you have four man beaters because that tight end he's running an option route so that means if he's manned up he should run out towards the sideline but he shouldn't run um let's see if, can we use our custom stems someone told me i need to use more of these custom stems um let's see but i'm pretty sure if you custom stem now he just runs out route right which i mean that's what he would run anyway so i mean yeah you could custom stem him down um just like that so that he doesn't like run um in that area where your um crosser is going to be running here but we go through it once again and this time you're able to see our crosser creates a really good separation we're able to pass that ball up and away from that defender and walk into the end zone untouched just like that so i mean he is like i said all the time you just need to be focused on putting as many man beating routes on the field as possible so you're able to see boom this zig route a good man beater right here this guy does a pretty good job of um or this is actually a speed out route so he i mean he does a pretty good job of staying on top of the route squeezing it to Towards the sideline and so we can't really throw that but i mean we have our backside dig open um again with these backside digs the only thing you have to really worry about is in cover one this rob or this hole defender number 20 which you know we have separation against him if we wanted to throw bond right here but then also our crosser here a wide open down the field so you have four man beating routes on the field and that's exactly what you're looking for um when you're playing against man coverage as many man beaters give yourself as many chances to beat man coverage and then when one of them does you're just looking for that guy down the field. 
What's up YouTube, a quick little interruption here to remind you to go check me out on social media. My Instagram and my Twitter are blt for life 22 and then my TikTok and my Twitch are blt for life 21 I upload tips for Madden 25 and NCAA 25 on all of those platforms. So go check me out if you want to get better at the game. And once again, they're going to be on the screen for you as well. But yeah, if you do that, you're going to get better at the game. So I mean, it's just a no brainer but that's all i got let's jump right back into the video all right so the next play that we have here is one of these new like creative ones that they added to both ncaa and madden 25 so it's this p what's it called orbit pa halfback wheel so b receiver is going to come in motion and then we're going to call a play action fake for running back and he's going to continue uh running a wheel route so all we're going to do put our tight end on a shriek and we'll see if the player wants to show up which okay it does and so we have our running back on a streak. So now, let I me mean, tight end. So now we have our wide receiver running a, a crosser, and we also have our tight end clearing out the zones for us here. Um, what I really like about this, I mean, you could also put um, X on an out route if you wanted to, but when this guy comes in motion, it these a lot of these defenders follow. And now, I mean, just look at, at the extra time that you have in the pocket. Now I should have just hit a read, but we're just, we're gonna go through it once again. Um, you just have a lot of options here. Create a lot of, I mean, because you have almost two, your B receiver and your RB receiver running two different ways here, and it's going to kind of create stress for a lot of these zone defenders here, so we go, oh, I'm just having really bad pocket presence. So the thing about this is with this play, it's going to drag your quarterback out towards the um, left side uh, sometimes, and you have to like almost bring him back to where he's supposed to be, so cancel that draw back. Now you're able to step up. I mean, we have wide open down the field if we can, you know, block a three-man rush from one of the worst defenses in the SEC. It would be really nice for us here. But you're able to see play action fake, allow a running back continue running his wheel route. I mean, you could throw this running back right here if you wanted to. And then you also have this good thing here is you have this receiver right here in motion as a good shutdown option if the play completely breaks down. Um, and then also, like I said, you have this deep crosser here on this slot receiver Y that's gonna do a good job of running underneath of these um, deep halves and zone drops, but also getting over the top of, you know, a cloud fly right here. So super easy with this play. Again, you just need a little bit more time in the pocket. If, you know, we could block, that would be very nice. I really only like using that against zone coverage. I mean, you could use it against man, but I mean, your B receiver, your RB receiver, and your tight end are almost like irrelevant on that play. So not really a huge fan of that. But here is our third play here. This is called, um, yeah, but just stick to this RPO alert bubble, I guess I should say. Um, so now you're just able to see just what we talk about all the time in this trips, a lot more consistent blocking that you're gonna get from those two um, slot receivers or those two receivers out there on the edge. But then you also have the opportunity to hand the ball off in the middle if you catch their user. Because what a lot of people do is these RPOs are kind of challenging to defend. So a lot of people want to move their user out to the sideline a little bit um, to be able so what that's going to allow you to do is just hand the ball off here in the middle and you know pick up some yards so all you're doing really with this is a lot of time you're just reading their users so if their users this defender number 20 if he moves out to this b receiver hand the ball off is he collapsing towards the run throw the bubble out there you have two and two theoretically you should be able to block those guys and pick up some good yards but I mean, you're able to see right here, they do a decent job of holding their blocks, right? I mean, not really, because bon that's the thing. Bond goes to the second level and blocks that other safety, but we're able to make him miss and, you know, turn it into a big game. So the RPO, it's it's pretty good for a reason. All right, so the next play that we're going to have here that we talk about all the time is this one, verticals. Pretty self-explanatory. We take the snap and we're looking down the sideline to our outside receiver and we have an opportunity to bring that ball in in stride with a good free form. And you can just see how, how tight that window is. I mean, it looks effortless, right? Because we're just able to fit the ball in there. But this is not just effortless. This is not easy. You have to practice with free form because there's so many other places where this ball could go, right? This ball could be underthrown by the quarterback and number eight could break, make a play on it. This ball could be pass led out of bounds and incomplete, or you could pass lead it way too far up the field and allow for that safety up there to make a play on it. So you have to get pretty good with free forming um, because I mean, you're just gonna be able to score easy touchdowns just like that. 
if you're actually good with the feature. But if we go through it again right here, I mean, you also have this wide receiver down the center field. I mean, that might be even more of a wide open touchdown for you than passing that ball to X. Um, because what happens is it's just the way that this route is kind of made in this game where he kind of bends off to the middle once he runs about 20 yards down the field. Like he doesn't run right at the safety. He kind of moves a little bit further inside and that's what really makes this good against a cover two defense is you know you have both of those open and the safety is kind of in no man's land you really can't defend either one of those um right there but if we go through it again here this is going to be against a cover three defense this time really what you're looking for this time is your b receiver on his crosser in the middle of the field that corner route to the tight end does a really good job of moving that safety out towards the sideline and creating an opening for you so boom you're able to see 25 you can just see how he's kind of moved out to the sideline by this corner out and so then once number two gets over the top of number 10 right here you're just able to throw this um nice and easy you have a, you have a pretty easy window to be, to be able to bring this pass in against a cover three and then also you know the last thing i'll say against the zone coverage with this play this is really only you don't really, really want to run this against man i mean you can make it decent versus man if you put your running back on an angle route but you still don't have enough options for me to feel comfortable with it but against zone i also like to put my running back on an angle route because it's going to stress their user now you create a high low do i want to guard b over the top or do i want to guard this running back angle route when he comes out of the backfield now a lot of the time people are going to take that deeper route because that's kind of what we're taught with our user defend the deepest threat on the field and then you know you pay you make them pay the price for that when you uh, throw this running back angle route underneath so i mean super super easy right there all right so the last thing that we're going to talk about here with this play is pa slot corner this is really good against every coverage we'll start with cover one hole or main coverage really it's all the same whether they run cover zero or cover one or cover two man even you know you have an opportunity to especially if they're backed off which if you're using a team with a fast receiver a lot of people are going to get at least one receiver cushion which is sometimes all you need but here we take the snap we cancel our play action and we're just looking and we're looking down that sideline and we're able to pass you that corner route he did a pretty good job of creating separation at the top of the route and then you know that defender kind of bent him off towards the sideline squeezed that route but good free form but we go through it again right here and we take the snap and boom a corner out wide open again down the sideline bring that pass in um we take a look at the replay let's see do we have anyone else open because i mean that corner out's not going to get open every single time i mean but we need number zero to create so i mean he actually does a pretty good job of getting open here bond gets boxed but you know zero is open in the middle of the field if you want to throw that tight end i mean this would take a really good pass lead and aggressive catch down in order to bring that pass in or also a pretty good animation so that's that play gets man again you have four man beaters there's really no telling on what play it's going to get open but you know you just kind of have to make the read here but um you know we go through it again this time we're going to be playing against a cover three so it's what we talk about all the time uh, against cover three defenses x on a shriek y on an out route um player's not going to show up but we're going to actually motion block i mean motion snap y so he's going to kind of run like this and now you're just i mean you could take that or you could throw over the top to your b receiver what really that does is it gives them a little bit more room to be able to actually run his out route and you're also able to see that that curl flat he's going to drop he's going to drop back a little bit more and it's going to give you an opportunity to hit that check down if you want to take it but we're going to go through it again i mean it's the same thing we talk about all the time uh short side corner well this isn't even a short side corner this is actually a wide side corner route, but it's all the same i mean it's just logic in this game so boom we take the snap and curl flat does isn't gonna guard our corner out i mean just that ball hits that guy right in the hands he's got to bring that pass in and, and he catches that a lot of the time but you're able to see zone logic this guy gets pushed up the sideline boom by a shriek and then you know our corner out's able to run underneath of him and i mean we look at this picture i mean you would say that this is an easy catch but you know number two just decides he wants to drop a ball that hits him right in the hands my guy catch the ball but anyway um so we'll go through it one last time here this is going to be against yeah, you're able to see against a cover two that cloud flat's going to drop back really far and i mean bro can i get a better rack animation game 
I mean, you have an out route open and wide open on the field. I mean, my guy, number zero, just has to get a better rack right here. I mean, there's no one in the flat. Like, this is literally a hook zone. You shouldn't even be able to contain this at all. And then I'm also going to need my tight end to be unselfish and turn to a lead blocker here. But none of those things happen. So this is the result of the play, a little three-yard game. But I mean, it's just understanding the game. There's no flat on that side. You put a flat route on the field, you throw it, especially if that guy's going to drop back to contain that corner route. You're going to have it open. And it should be able to turn into a much bigger game than that for you. But um, I mean... Those are the five plays I really like out of the trip tight end. You're able to attack every level of the field against every defense with really only four plays. Really only four or five plays. You know, mix these in and you know, you're gonna have a lot of success on offense here in college football 25, but let's jump right to the outro. All right, so that's gonna do it here in College Football 25 for our Trips Tight End ebook. I mean, we talk about this, you know, at least once every six to eight weeks because this is so lethal. For those of y'all that haven't discovered how good Trips Tight End is, have been thinking about wanting to run it, but just haven't been able to, I hope this is, you know, your reason, your opportunity to start running it because it's really only a couple of plays. I mean, depending on the playbook that you're in, you have different options, but really it's just easy. I mean, you're attacking the deep open over a portion of the field. You're able to use the RPO game. You're able to attack the deep sideline on both sides. You're able to beat man coverage, zone coverage. You really have everything you need. So um, yeah, trips tied into one of the best formations here in the game. And let me know if you guys have any questions down below in the comments section. I will be happy to answer them, but don't forget to go down below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn those notifications on, check me out on TikTok for more helpful video tip clips, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.